a site not seen in Afghanistan in nearly a century. A locomotive rolling down the tracks. This nearly completed railroad, a symbol of hope for a country suffering through 30 years of war. This good news and this uh, uh, connect Afghanistan to the world and uh, I, I want to, uh, that train uh, uh, for all the province of Afghanistan. The last time Afghanistan had a railroad was in downtown Kabul in the 1920s. Today, this rusty little locomotive is all that's left. You want to travel where? Yes, Paris. In Paris, built by this train. <laughs> a museum curiosity for visiting Afghans. Have you ever seen a train before? No, in Afghanistan, no. It's the first time. Due to poverty, isolation, and conflict, Afghanistan skipped the age of railroads. Afghans went from riding horseback to traveling by car and relying on trucks to ship goods down a dangerous network of roads. But the 75-kilometer-long railroad in northern Afghanistan could revolutionize transport in this landlocked country. This new railroad is part of an effort to build a new trade corridor from Central Asia to Southeast Asia across the war-torn country of Afghanistan. If they succeed in extending the railroad, it makes shipping cheaper and safer and more energy efficient than traveling by truck. Investors say railroads will be essential if Afghanistan is ever to tap in to vast deposits of mineral resources. Uh, the mining sector here is potentially huge. And uh, whether it's iron ore or copper or coal, uh, and there are markets across the region that, that, that are desperately seeking to, to um, import these materials from Afghanistan. This month, a state mining company from China signed a proposal to build a six to seven billion dollar railroad across eastern Afghanistan. But the proposed railroad runs right through Taliban country. It may never be built, Chinese officials say, if the growing insurgency isn't stopped. Afghanistan's newest railroad would be a juicy target for Taliban attacks. It is heavily guarded by armies of police protecting this latest train project from becoming yet another sad exhibit in Afghanistan's Museum of Tragic History. Ivan Watson, CNN, Mazari Sharif in northern Afghanistan.